Spiking rates of suicide among active duty and veteran members of the U.S. military have doctors looking for answers. Last year, a report out of Brown University found that since 9-11, four times as many service members and veterans have died by suicide compared to having been killed in combat. Here in Texas, the latest federal data shows about 10 veterans a week are committing suicide. That number also on the rise. Some veteran advocates and organizations are pushing for state governments to think outside of the box to tackle this problem. Our Capitol correspondent, Jayla Washington, takes a look at one possible solution and how effective this could be long term. Many of us only see the photos and hear the veterans' stories. But Marcus Capone will tell you firsthand the military changes you. I was really struggling when I separated from service in 2013. And around 2015, 16, I was at my tipping point. And After nothing else seemed to help his depression, he turned to psychedelic medicine, things like mushrooms and MDMA. Now he helps run a nonprofit that supports research into that therapy. The individuals that we have funded now, over 500, are coming back and saying that this has been a life changing experience life-saving for many. In Texas, legislation passed last session to allow alternative therapies for veterans. UT Austin's Dell Medical School opened a psychedelic research therapy center. Some pilot programs involving veterans and mushrooms will kick off the research. One of them is going to be looking at um, uh, psilocybin for treatment-resistant major depressive disorder. And our hypothesis is that the psychedelic will condition the brain to be optimally receptive to that treatment process. Other universities are already looking into this. John Hopkins released a report just this year showing psychedelics were effective in treating major depression for up to a year. Studies show depression can be linked to suicide. Well, we're definitely being cautious. Um, we want to uh, approach this from a place where we minimize risk. Uh, for people. Well, UT Dell and Capone both know this therapy isn't for everyone. They feel this research will only help everyone learn more about how it works. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. UT Dell Medical School is focusing on developing and testing therapies, the best ways to prescribe these psychedelic medications, how it biologically and psychologically, psychologically that is, affects someone among other things. And measuring success will be tracked by asking patients to rate their depression or PTSD on a scale both before and up to a year after psychedelic treatment.